Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about why we should learn C programming language and what are the various compilers that we can use. So stick with me and let's begin. The first reason to learn C programming language that it is completely a basic language. Other languages like Python, Java, C++ uses the concepts of OOPS and other higher features. Now since we are covering here the C programming language, the concepts of C programming will be used in every other programming language. So basically if we are learning any other programming language, let's say PHP, JavaScript or Python or C++ or Java, then there will be some basic concept of their own language. Now, the basic concept of all the other language will be same as of our C programming language. Only the syntax will be changed. We can conclude that we are basically understanding the 10 to 20 percent courses of every other programming language, whether it is Python or other language. Apart from this, we should have a basic understanding of our programming language before jumping to any other higher languages like Python. So, if we can't even make the program for sum of two numbers, then using those programming language will, which are used for higher purposes does not make any sense. So C language is always the first step to dive into the programming world. Then we have our second reason that is many operating systems like Windows and Linux use the C programming language for its implementation. So in the future, if you get the job in the Microsoft company and you are working with some OS module, then you will having you will be having some sort of ideas for its programming, right? Along with that, many mobile phones also uses the C programming language. And the reason for that is that it is basically memory and speed efficient. It can directly interact with the memory or the hardware. And basically because of this feature, it is much more high in speed. Due to its nature of being fast and memory efficient, it is also used in the gaming programming. In the last, we have the most general reason to learn C programming language that it is asked in nearly every university exams and also the main exams like GATE and many PSUs. So if you are preparing for, for those exams, you should be learning the C programming language. For me, the first reason is really important because if you want to make your career as a software engineer, then you should know the basic in detail and know what is happening behind the C. So I hope that you get the idea why we should learn C as a first programming language. So now let's talk about some of the compilers that we can use for C language. There are basically endless compilers that we can use to make programs in C. I had written here four of these compilers. Now first of all we have the Microsoft Visual C++, then we have Turbo C or Turbo C++, then we have CodeBlock and at the end we have Dev C++. So you can download and install any of the compiler you like but my personal recommendation would be please do not use the Turbo compiler and the reason behind is that the interface of Turbo C or Turbo C++ is not so good. Now when you will be making programs in Python or Java later in your career then you will see the interface used by Turbo C is much different than the other platform. So it will be a good idea to use some interface that have a resemblance for your future interfaces also. So for that I will say that use code blocks or use Microsoft Visual C++ or you can also use Dev C++. Another point is that any compiler which can compile C++ code will also compile our C programming or C code. Right? So if you are downloading and installing any C++ compiler, so don't worry about that. It will also compile our C programs. Now one last thing is that many compilers when we will make program we will see instead of writing here studio.h we have to write here studio. This might be the case in dev C++. So remember that if your code is not running, then try instead of writing studio.h, just write studio, right? What is studio and these all will be covered in the later videos. But when we will be making programs and if you are facing any, any error, then remember that first try to change this. Another thing is that some compilers do not use void main, right? And some does. So if this is not taken by the compiler then use int main okay and even if this is not taken then write here int main void this will 100% will be taken by the compiler since it is a standard one okay so remember that in the header files if dot h is not taking try to 
eliminate the dot h and write only studio okay so in some compiler it may be it may give you some errors for that but uh, changing this will solve your problems okay use any compilers but my recommendation will be will be to avoid turbo c and c++ compiler right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video